So today we're checking out season two, episode number 11, and uh, you can get early ad-free access to all of our reactions. Check it out Patreon, we're a month ahead on our Avatar reactions, and uh, you can also see our full watch-along reactions that way. Yeah. Link's in the description of this video. You should check it out. You should. Okay. Are you ready to do this? Library sinking! Gotta save Appa! It's not Where's your fault. Appa? Oh. Mm-hmm. Should have skipped that recap. How could you let them take Appa? Oh, because you... she was saving your ass. The sandbender snuck up on me and there wasn't time for... You just didn't care! You never liked Appa, you wanted him gone! Dang. You know Toph did all she could. She saved our lives. We'll never make it out of here. That's all any of you guys care about. Yourselves going after Abba. Hey, wait! You're just gonna leave them? We have to get that information to Ba Sing Se. You think if we dig out the giant owl, he'll give us a ride? Maybe we should make camp. No, please. Don't stop just for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what now? What a pleasant surprise. If you're surprised we're here, then the Dragon of the West has lost a few steps. Yeah, everyone show off what they can do. Colonel Monkey and the Rough Rhinos are legendary. They are also a very capable singing group. <laughs> we're not here to give a concert. <laughs> but you should. Oh no, please give a concert. Yeah. Round him up! Yeah. Oof. Injured and still gonna kick all your asses. Bye. <laughs> Enjoy the rough ride. Nice to go. It's nice to see old friends. Too bad you don't have any old friends that don't want to attack you. Old friends that don't want to attack me. What's he thinking of? I don't know. Can't you watch where you're. <gasps> no. Right. Sorry. Oh. Guys. We've got to stick together. Yeah. Tara, can I have some water? Okay, but we've got to try to conserve it. We're drinking your bending water? You used this on the swamp guy! It yeah. does taste swampy. <laughs> Look! You shouldn't be eating strange plants. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Both him and Momo. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Peyote? It'll quench ya. Nothing's quench ya. It's the quench ya. I think you've had enough. <laughs> Who the fuck? Momo! <laughs> we need to find Aang. Appa! No! I mean, they were dragging Appa. How did they not leave giant tracks? Yeah. It's a giant mushroom. Maybe it's friendly! Hi, <laughs> Sock is the best. Yeah, a little barefoot blind girl and her friends passed through here a few days ago. They went in the desert. Too bad there's almost no chance they survived. She's wanted dead or alive. No, she's not. Yeah. I'm certain her father wants her alive. Fire Nation wanted posters. So? So? There's two of them right there. I'm sorry, Aang. I know it's hard for you right now, but we need to focus on getting out of here. What's the difference? We won't survive without Appa. We all know it. We can do this if we work together. Right, Toph? As far as I can feel, we're trapped in a giant bowl of sand pudding. I got nothing. <laughs> Saga, any ideas how to find bossing? Still tripping. Why don't we ask the circle birds? Mm. Oh. <laughs> I was wrong. Hi, Momo is the best. Yeah. Everybody, hold hands. We can do this. We have to. <laughs> Vulture bees? Jesus. No, thank you. Oh. Is there any more water? This is the last of it. <gasps> Momo. No, he hasn't. All oh, right. Hmm. Hmm. Sokka, let me see the things you got from the library. I didn't steal anything. You ratted me out. Oh! Don't make Momo cry, you dick. <laughs> it doesn't matter. 
We can use the stars to guide us. That way we can travel at night when it's cool and rest during the day. Just try to get some sleep. Mm. We'll start again in a few hours. No one here is going to help us. These people just look like filthy wanderers. So do we. I think I've found our friend. You brought us here to gamble on Pai Show? I don't think this is a gamble. Let's take them now. Chance. How would you be without that guy? I see you favor the White Lotus Gambit. Not many still cling to the ancient ways. Those who do can always find a friend. Then let us play. I don't know who's winning. The White Lotus opens wide to those who know her secrets. What are you old gas bags talking about? Hmm. It's like a secret club. It's over. <laughs> you two fugitives are coming with me. I knew it. You two are wanted criminals with a giant bounty on your head. I thought you said he would help. He is. You think you're going to capture them and collect like, all that gold? Gold? Hmm. Uh, maybe we shouldn't. This guy just wants to fight anybody, so he doesn't care. And while you're doing that, they're gonna escape. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get up. We need to go. I'm awake. I couldn't sleep. Hmm, I bet. A cloud. Fly up and bend the water from that cloud into my pouch. So you don't want water. You don't want to live. Appa's gonna want water. Yeah. Wow, there's hardly any in here. I'm sorry, okay? It's a desert cloud. I did all I could. What's anyone else doing? What are you doing? Trying to keep you all together. Trying to keep everyone together. Let's just get moving. We need to head this direction. Ow! <gasps> Crud! I am so sick of not feeling where I'm going! And what idiot buried a boat in the middle of the desert? Ooh. It's one of the gliders the sandbenders use. And look, it's got some kind of compass on it. Aang, you can bend a breeze so we can sail it. We're gonna make it. <laughs> no! Don't bury him. It's funny when he did it. <laughs> it is an honor to welcome such a high-ranking member of the Order of the White Lotus. Being a Grand Master... Yes, Club. You must forgive my nephew. He is not an initiate and has little appreciation for the cryptic arts. Mm-hmm. It's very blunt. That's one way of putting it. Ha! <laughs> I'm afraid it's members only. Wait out here. <laughs> That's what the compass is pointing to. That giant rock. A rock? Yes! Let's go! Maybe we can find some sandbender. Yeah. Man, there'll be no mercy when he finally finds them. Mm-hmm. Finally! Solid ground. I think my head is starting to clear out the cactus tree. And look! Oh! No! God! Tastes like rotten penguin meat! Eat everything? You've been hallucinating on cactus juice all day, and then you just lick something to yeah. find stuck to the wall of a cave? I have a natural curiosity. <laughs> this was carved by something. Yeah, look at the giant shape. Giant insect vulture bees. It's oh. a giant honeycomb. Yeah. A wasp nest. Oh. oh, this is bad. What are you doing? That rock almost crushed me. Sorry, I can't tell where they are in the air. I got this one. There's nothing there. I guess my head's not as clear as I thought. I'm completely out of water defense. No! I'm not losing anyone else out here. Do the rock right there. Nice. Good job, Katara. Teamwork. Rescue Momo. Mm-hmm. Damn, I think it's huge. Yeah. Oh! I'm so scared. <laughs> oh! Yeah, you should not some. have gone after Momo. How about being, getting captured has changed, dang. And he's going through his dark phase. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe we'll find Appa now. Mm-hmm. 
going on? We're heading to Ba Sing Se. Why would we go to the Earth Kingdom capital? We can hide in plain sight there. And it's the safest place in the world from the Fire Nation. What are you doing in our land with a Sandbender sailor? We found the sailor abandoned in the desert. Our bison was stolen, and we have to get to Ba Sing Se. You dare accuse our people of theft while you ride in on a stolen sand sailor? He's the one that stole Appa. Ooh. Are you sure? I never forget a voice. You uh, stole uh, Appa! Where is he? What did you do to him? They're lying! They're the thieves! Ah! Where is my bison? <laughs> <sighs> He's always so nice. I want to see Aang get pissed. I got a tip that they're in your shop. As you can see, no one is here but us. Kick it down! That room is for flowers only! Now you are him a door. I'm unlucky soul. Has an incomplete pie show set. Let's go back to finding the girl. Hmm. I appreciate the sound effects. Did you do? Hmm. It wasn't me. Said to put a muzzle on him. You muzzled Papa? <gasps> oh! He's probably in Bossing Say by now. Oh. Oh, that was the wrong answer. We'll help however we can. Get out of here. Run. Yeah, there's no calming him now. Sun's getting really low. Hmm. <sighs> Man. Not as satisfying as I, I, I thought. Uh, Aang getting pissed and uh, unleashed. And, um, you know, it's been a while since he had gone all Avatar form. Um, so forgot how scary it really can be. Kind of some other times it's been triggered more by like battle and, and fear and like just like um, needing to uh, protect instead of like needing to attack. I mean, the Fire Nation again, but like they were being attacked. So like... Um, the water tribe was so he like really was protecting them too this is the first time i mean yes he's protecting appa but Appa's not there and like i don't know so it was tough to see on a visceral level i completely empathize with him yeah. yeah and not that i'm proud of this but there is like a small part of me that's like he could have done like a little something to the kid <laughs> Like, he destroyed their ships, and, and, yeah, and yeah. I respect that he didn't hurt anyone else. Like, clearly the dad didn't know what the son yeah. had done. But the son stole something mm -hmm. and then went and sold it. Sold, not, not something, sold a living creature for money. And his only defense was, well, I didn't know it was the Avatar. Yeah. So if it had been anybody else, it's totally fine that I stole from mm -hmm. them and then turned around and sold it to make profit. Like... He could have did a, you know, like some wind bitch slapping of that kid, and I would have been fine with that. <laughs> wind bitch slapping. Yeah. yeah. Uh, some big mom energy coming from Katara in this episode. Um, oh, yeah. Keeping the group just together. Uh, and um, at the end there, like grabbing Aang, holding him, hugging him. Um, yeah. Just great episode for, for her. And, um, each one of the everyone in the group kind of has their moments where they show like why they're why they are so important and like how they are able to um, not just like further their success in um, you know defeating the Fire Nation or whatever and getting Aang trained up, but also in just like keeping the group together. And um, Katara came through in a big way in this episode. It was a really tough couple episodes for Toph. Um, so I yeah. I really did enjoy the fact where they get on the rock. I mean, even though it ultimately has the vulture wasp nest yeah, yeah. on it. Um, like just her enthusiasm at being on solid land mm -hmm. and being able to have a sense of scene. She can't like see as of like, at least she's got a little something more that she can latch on to. Um, and then the teamwork between her and Katara. Yeah. Really, really enjoyed that. Yeah, agreed. And hi, Momo, and hi, Sokka. 
is some great comic relief. And man, I mean, after after Appa being taken, the moment of Momo being taken, like the wasp getting what was coming to it. I'm not going to lie. I did want a little piece of that for the kid who stole Appa. Yeah. I'm not saying the kid has to die. That's extreme. Yeah. But a little piece of that would have been satisfying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. It's fair. Yeah. Um, I liked, so Iroh again, uh, I like Iroh um, faking that he needed a rest because he knew that like they were being tracked and it's just like, okay, let's, this seems like a good spot to, to take them down and, um, and lose them. Um, at least that's what I, that's the way I interpret it is that he knew that they were there, right? I mean, I think he, so. Okay, yeah. It's, I mean, Iroh, I could see him being that dramatic over needing to stop and rest if he then like immediately proceeded to make himself tea or something. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Outside of a purpose for it, not so much. Yeah. Um, and uh, and even injured, he was able to, I mean, yeah, Z Zuko was awesome too and Zuko um, kicked butt, but like Iroh just, you know, injured, doesn't matter. You, you rough rhinos or whatever, don't scare him. I will say for Zuko, like I keep holding out this hope from some of the more human moments of him that we've seen that like there's a redemption arc here and he's all the time he's spending with Iroh. Man, he's got a really thick skull. He does <laughs> not take the lessons on very willingly <laughs> at all. Like Iroh is a very patient man. He is. He is. Very patient. But he knows that. Like you said, those he does see those human moment moments um, and knows that it's there and knows that like deep down Zuko is a good person and uh, you know so I think it's it's like that's his last mission Zuko to um, yeah realizes his potential um, and his potential potential for good as well and just like heal his soul and get him to 